What's the crack? Welcome back to another video. This is halfway between a vlog and a budget creation type video. We are up at uh, Scrabo and Kelly Nether today. Me and Ali and the dog. First off, I want to thank everyone who watched my previous video uh, from last week where we were up at the Mourns. I uh, had a lot of fun shooting that. Huh. How am I out of breath already? I've walked like 20 feet. I had a lot of fun shooting that. And uh, yeah, thanks to everyone who watched it. The subs new subscribers. And the people who went from there to my Instagram to check out the, uh, the, the photos that I took. I really do very much appreciate it. So if you did watch last week's video, then you might know that um, myself, my two cousins and a friend of ours climbed the mountain here in Northern Ireland and I vlogged the whole thing pretty much on my phone with the exception, exception of some uh, drone shots, drone shots, I can't speak today, which were done on a uh, Mavic Mini. So that was a bit of an experiment um, for a number of reasons, number one. I have an iPhone 10, it shoots 4K, my camera doesn't. And number two, I've discovered this thing which is, it doesn't really have a name, it's, I don't know, what would you call it, like platform anxiety or gear anxiety. Um, I'll try and explain. Whenever I use a phone, like I am right now, because I've been doing it so much for like Instagram stories, it's a lot more natural. I sound a lot more natural. I'm a lot more relaxed. And it just presents better on video. But whenever I use my camera, which is a big bulky thing, I sound scripted and unprofessional and stiff and very cardboardy. So with that in mind, I um, sort of want to experiment a little bit more. In one of my last budget creation videos, I bought an Amazon Basics lapel mic. And if you watched that video, you will know it didn't work. Um, the whole reason it didn't work was to do with the connection. A, TR, a TRS or a TRRS, I don't know. I'm not a sound person, I don't really know. What I can tell you is the 3.5mm jack had three black lines instead of two or two black lines instead of three, I don't know. I fixed it, I, I know how to sort it. So we're gonna try and use that with the phone and the camera to see where it's gonna sound better. Because I think the phone has better picture quality than my camera, but the Nikon has better sound quality with the Rode mic. And I need to know what suits better. So we're gonna play a little game, testing them against each other, basically. So up until now, what you've seen and what you've heard is the iPhone XS Max at uh, 4K, 24 frames a second, with just the onboard microphone. I think in situations like this, it's actually okay. When we were up in the mountains last weekend, it was really quite windy, so there was a lot of wind noise, which admittedly didn't sound too good. What we're going to do now is switch over to the Amazon Basics lapel mic and see how that fares. Okay, so what you're hearing now is the Amazon Basics lapel mic, which is, oh, I've just touched it. It's connected right here, just under my chin-ish. Um, it's a wired mic, so there's a wire that runs to the 3.5mm lightning jack adapter. Um, the wind has picked up mainly because we're in a bit of an open space. So if it's working, you should be able to hear me and you should be able to see this view. That's the Moor Mountains, that's where I was last weekend. I'm trying to figure out if you can see the one that I climbed. I think it's the third peak. Yeah, it's the third peak fr from the left that has like a camel's hump. That's Sleeve Burner, as far as I'm aware. That's the one I climbed. So, does this sound better than the onboard mic? Let me know comment down below. I haven't heard it yet, so 
I have no opinion. When shooting with an iPhone, I don't know whether it's just my iPhone, all iPhones, or just all phones. Um, issue number one is sometimes when I start recording on the phone, it like doesn't record the very start of the clip. So in my last video, there was like, there was a part where I pointed it at a banana and it didn't really make sense because it cut the, the start of it off. It made sense to the person who saw it, which is what mattered. <laughs> he saw it, he got it, but you, I said his name and it missed that part out. I don't know why, it's, it's happened a few times. I don't know whether it's user error, maybe it's just me, I don't know. The second issue that I found is the camera on the phone um, changes between portrait and landscape mode. And sometimes when I've imported the footage into Premiere Pro, it's imported or it's recorded as portrait, which isn't necessarily an issue. You just have to rotate the angle by 90 degrees. It is a bit of an issue I found if you're using auto reframe because it doesn't really know what to do with it. And you get these black bars, um, top and bottom, like if you post it on Instagram stories or something. I'm sorry, I keep looking down. We're going downhill and I have to watch where I'm going. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for the phone. Um, the quality is obviously gonna be better than the camera, but it's the sound that I'm really testing out here with the, the phone setup. This is a really lightweight setup. It's actually pretty handy just to carry around. If I could get something like this pretty cheap that was wireless, that would be even better. So what we're gonna do now is switch to the Nikon D5300 and see how that looks and sounds compared to the setup. Okay, so now we're on the Nikon D5300, um, which obviously doesn't shoot 4K, it's just 1080p. And we have the um, Rode VideoMic Go. I always get confused between that one and the Rode VideoMic. Micro, micro. So first off, this is obviously a lot heavier, even to hold in one or two hands. However, oh, there's an issue. Light. So that's the first issue, or well, the second issue. When the light changes, if you're shooting in manual, you have to change the settings. This is actually tiring me out just walking uphill and holding this. With an iPhone or any phone, unless you download an app, you don't have the option of changing the settings, so you just have auto exposure, uh, shutter speeds all automatic, which is a hindrance if you know what you want to shoot and how you want to shoot it. But it means when situations like this, when the light is constantly changing, you don't have to faff around changing the settings. See, it's really, really dark right now and I really can't be bothered changing anything. I have a feeling we have to go up this hill too. This is the only way. I so, yeah. Huh. I need to get into better shape. So, the sound is obviously the, uh, the Rode Video Mic Go, which is gonna be better than an Amazon Basics lapel mic. I am very overexposed right now. I also have a dead cat on top, so the wind noise should be cut down to an absolute minimum. Which means the sound should be better. The shotgun mic is pointing directly at me, and it's cutting out any wind noise. There is a bit of leaf wind noise happening above me right now. Again, is this a better sound? Does it sound better than the phone with the, uh, the Amazon Basics lapel mic? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what um, what do you prefer visually? Does this look better than the phone or does the iPhone look better than this? In last week's video, all the footage shot on the phone, I didn't color grade. It was as shot. This one, I'll probably color grade a little bit. So it's a good bit windier now. I don't know whether you can hear that. Um, it's just a good opportunity to test the wind noise of this setup. 
you have to excuse me, I'm going down quite a bit of a steep slope. And uh, my face is now completely overexposed after I already preset the settings for what the exposure was. It's just changed again. Okay, so that's that test complete. This is my original sort of vlogging video setup and has been for a while. What we'll do now is switch out the microphone to the Amazon Basics microphone and see if that makes any sort of difference. I'm now really underexposed. Oh, this actually gets a little bit annoying having to constantly change settings. You're maybe better just leaving it in auto and just letting the camera decide. I think the um, this camera with the Amazon Basics mic is probably going to be the least good setup. Okay, so we've now switched from the Rode video mic to the Amazon Basics lapel mic, which you can see just here. How does it sound? Is that any better? I haven't actually used it with this camera before, so I don't know. I have no idea. Um, the wire is starting to get a little bit annoying. I've also switched the camera into auto, just because I really can't be bothered faffing around with exposure settings. When you're trying to record a video and you have to keep changing it, it's, it's really annoying. I don't like it very much. I just played that footage back through the camera and the camera speakers are obviously not very good. But I realised that the microphone settings um, weren't set right, so I've, I've changed them around, I've reduced them a little bit. Because it sounded too staticky, too cackly, too loud. Um, so hopefully this just sound, blip, blip. This should sound a little bit better. But again, don't expect, don't expect amazing things from a basic microphone. And back now to the Rode mic, just for comparison. Which uh, which setup has been your favourite so far? Which works best? I think um, this setup. While it's the typical vlogger setup with the, the Rode mic and the Gorillapod, it's um, a bit of a hassle, a bit of a weight to carry. And you do really just stand out everywhere you go. Okay, so that concludes this test, I suppose. Different microphones, different cameras. I think uh, if I had the choice, I'd probably use a iPhone more, especially if I could get um, a decent microphone setup for it. It shoots 4K in 24, 30 and 60 frames a second, which is better than I can do with my Nikon. It also means if I'm using the phone, then the Nikon's free to take pictures with. Obviously I can't do that when I'm using it to record, but let me know what you think. What sounds better? What looks better? What do you think would be easier to use? I know what's easier to use. This is getting very heavy in my hand. But we'll see, once I get everything into Premiere Pro, we'll see what everything looks like, so that I know for me. This is more of a test for me than anyone else. Although you did get to hear what the Amazon Basic microphone sounds like. So we were gonna go up to Scrabble Tower, which is just there. But there's actually a lot of people up there. I was gonna maybe try and get the drone up, get some nice drone shots of it. Although I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to fly the drone there. Um, there's an airport nearby here. Also, tell me down below if you think using the camera or using the, the phone where I sound most, most natural. I think I sound more natural, there's cars everywhere. I think I sound more natural when I use the phone. So I'm using the camera right now and I think I sound too scripted. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm busted, that was like a 45 ish minute hike, say an hour, I forgot to set my watch. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. This was somewhere in between the content I create, not a review, not a vlog, somewhere in between. And I will see you in the next video. Say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye, Billy. He doesn't wanna say goodbye. I will see you next time.